Hello everyone, hope you are doing well and welcome in FinTechnology Hub. As you know, we are delivering videos focused on the FinTech industry and we already delivered a couple of videos before. The first one, it was about what are the topics you need to know if you want to start working in the FinTech industry. The second one, it was about the financial inclusion and we already discussed the concept and the dimensions you need to know about it when you are discussing the financial inclusion. Both videos were in Arabic and you can find the links in the first comment. Today we are discussing a new interesting topic also related to Fentech. We will speak about the two parts of the Fentech, the financial as a business and tech as a technology. Which one is driving the other? Is it the business driving the technology? and business people are putting the uh, business case and seeking for technological people to help providing the required technology or it becomes a different story and the technological people are leading the market now in the fintech. Today I will share with you my point of view and what are the ways I see that the technology is leading the business in the fintech world. In June 2020, I created a simple survey asking about your point of view to be considered during my discussion today. The results was 56% are saying that the business is leading the technology. And 33% are saying that technology is leading the business. While 11% both are equal. From my point of view, I think that technology is leading the business and uh, I'm working uh, in the technology uh, industry and in the IT uh, since about 22 years and I can see that in the last few years a lot of changes and uh, a revolution has been done in the IT uh, industry. I think one of the main reasons makes the technology driving the business is the open age technologies or sky limit technologies. This is a term uh, I'm usually using when I'm speaking about such technologies. I will list a few technologies today and focus on only three of them. These technologies, you can consider it as a raw material. You can shape it as you like and you can create either new business case from scratch or innovate and re-innovate already exist business case. The technologies are the artificial intelligence, blockchain, internet of things, cloud computing and API platforms. As I mentioned, I will focus on only three technologies for the time being, so let's start. Here are the few examples we have mentioned uh, about the open edge or sky limit technologies. Let's start with the first one, which is artificial intelligence. The first business case is a banking chatbot, which is using the robot to interact with the customer, either to support them in an inquiry or any uh, incident, uh, or even to execute a financial transaction. The second one, which is uh, supporting the credit decisions, uh, either accepting or reject uh, loan request, uh, changing the credit limit for the customer. This can be done through the artificial intelligence. Also, the, the artificial intelligence can draw a, a fruit uh, patterns and can understand the behavior of the fruiters so they uh, can prevent the fruiter to execute any fruit cases from the beginning and this is a competitive advantage for any bank or financial inclusion supporting the financial transactions. The, th the last one which is personalized banking, the artificial intelligence can capture, analyze and uh, provide the best UX or the user experience for the bank customer and also personalized and customizing the services 
the customer usually use or prefer the order of the uh, the services uh, either to be executed in a seasonal uh, manner or even periodically the second one which is a blockchain technology the blockchain uh, as the concept is a decentralized ledger and uh, you can consider it as uh, a hundreds or uh, thousands copies of the same database separated uh, uh, spread it on uh, too many computers which is immutable and you cannot change in the record if this is not uh, permitted in this uh, uh, technology type because there are uh, several types of the blockchain technologies the first business case which is the payment especially the cross-border payments or the, the international transactions as you know, there is uh, several entities must be involved in the international uh, transactions due to the, the risk of such transactions. But using the blockchain technology will eliminate such risk and also will uh, validate the two parts sending and receiving the transaction, which will cause decreasing the fee of such a transaction. The second one, which is digital identity verification, whenever uh, one of the financial institutions uh, received the KYC of one of the customers and already verified uh, that the bank or the financial uh, institution can upload such KYC to be used uh, by any other entities as long as the 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 first institution recorded this data cannot uh, change it any time the third one which credit reports for business and individuals keeping the records of the financial uh, records of the uh, business or individuals and uh, making it available to be used to the authorized people without any change again it enables the different entities to generate such reports easily based on the blockchain technology. The last one, which is the regulatory compliance and audit. Whenever the regulatory uh, uh, points or procedures have been applied to one of the blockchain entity, it can be replicated to uh, other entities and also the compliance of the uh, regulations whenever it is confirmed uh, by one of the uh, authorized and uh, trusted entities it can be used as a, a checked point or acceptable uh, compliance check to another entities connected to the same blockchain network the third one which is the api platforms uh, and also most of us knows about uh, the the open banking which exposing the banking services through uh, external services or web services or whatever so other parties can connect to such apis platforms and consume the services and they get the benefit from the service without being hosted in the same uh, bank ecosystem the first one which is personalized or uh, the first one is uh, the personal financial management pfm the concept is the customer wants to know his position from the financial point of view so if the customer has one account in one bank the, the customer will know what was the income to this account and what the outcome from such account any investment related to any expenses uh, coming out from this account uh, all transactions related so the, the customer can know his position in this bank but the new now that uh, through the api's platform the customer can collect and consolidate his position his financial position and they can have personal financial position 
for all uh, related accounts to this customer by gathering such information from different entities connected to such ecosystem. The second one, which is a banking as a service, it, uh, it is not mandatory now that uh, any financial institution must have uh, a core banking system or any financial uh, management system to be hosted in the premises, but uh, they can connect to any clouding service hosting uh, the banking as a service and using and consuming and paying also for only the used services. The third one, which is small and medium businesses and also uh, small and medium entities in uh, some terminologies used as uh, small and medium enterprises. But anyway, the, the, the concept is such uh, small and medium uh, entities can connect directly to the bank to execute some financial uh, transactions or to inquire about the real balance of such uh, entities also they can execute transactions through their ERPs connecting to such ABIs. The fourth one which is account opening through the agency banking. Uh, it is not mandatory now to and actually this is for a long time ago to uh, to open an account in the bank itself while the bank now can expose its services to uh, to be consumed within any other authorized entity can verify and apply the regulations related to the uh, the related bank or the uh, partner bank giving them the 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 ability to do some transaction or financial transaction on behalf of the bank itself. So uh, as an, uh, a conclusion, I think the landscape of the business and technology becomes completely different. And now you can consider the technology as a driver to the business and uh, driving the business significantly, especially in the last few years. Thank you so much for your time and uh, I hope it was interesting for you. If it was interesting, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. See you again. Thank you.